Oh my god. Guys. 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 This is my very first live reaction, by the way. Okay? This this is crazy. Okay, so I just got done watching episode Dragon Ball Super episode 108. Oh my gosh, so much shit happened here, okay? So, I'm gonna give you the most important points because this is just, this is a, uh, this is my, this is another, this is a t different type of review, all right? So, basically, what happened, spoiler warning, spoiler, 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 just letting y'all know now. So, yo, click off if you don't want to see it or not. I gave you enough time. We're getting back into spoilers, all right? So... Basically, what happened in this episode, basically, it was about Gohan was fighting some robot dude from Universe 4, I want to say 4, I'm not sure, I'm, I, I'm not good with those, those names and stuff, but I think it's Universe 4, the robot universe, he was fighting that dude and he was, he had some trouble, but then he got away from him, so that was good, and then this is basically a Gohan centric episode, but more of like a Frieza Gohan episode, uh, episode Frieza Gohan centric episode. So, you know, it's kind of them both with Frost, but it, we'll get to that. So basically, Gohan hid back behind a rock, and then so Jamie's comes out of nowhere, right? Jamie's just pops out of nowhere, shoots a key blast at him. And this is the most shortest review I can I can tell you because it's just it's I'm just giving you the main points. So. Jameez came in, throws a key blast at him. Gohan didn't pay attention because Jameez can instant can do the instant trans transmission like Goku because Jameez is a Yardra and Yardras are naturally uh, good at the instant transmission. So he did that. He he um he teleported in front of him and he did it. And Gohan was like, "Oh crap! I didn't see him there." And then they they also had like a big a big uh what do you call it? A big stare down, you know, because. This is important because Jameez is uh, how is Gohan going to deal with this dude? And then really, Gohan really didn't. He just he tried, but instant transmission is not um, it's not Gohan's expertise. It's Goku's. So Jameez pretty much just beat the shit out of him the whole time. So <laughs> basically, the whole time, my my go my boy Gohan just got the worst in this episode. I I'm so bad. I feel so mad. Not really mad, it's just why? So back to the fight, they you know, they kinda fought and then Jameez kinda was more of a one sided until, you know, like yeah, it was more of a one sided because he Gohan couldn't do anything with instant transmission. And then Frieza pops out of nowhere. Frieza was like before he's like, might as well find me a play playmate or whatever, like a fucking weirdo. He's like, yeah, find me a playmate. So Frieza just comes out of nowhere. Pops in front of Jameez and he's like, what's going on here? Jameez is like, so your ally's coming to help you, you little bitch. And that's basically what he just said. It's basically what he said. And Frieza's like, no, nah, I'm, not, I'm not here to help you. I just want to see what's going on. And then, you know, Frieza, being Frieza, you know, he was like, so Jameez was like, I'm going to fight both of you then. Since y'all you, since you want to uh, gang up on me, I'll fight both of you. I don't care. And then Frieza was like, nah. I'm good. I let you and Gohan fight. I'll sit back and watch, right? He tried and go. So Frieza moved out of the way and they fought again. And as Jameez, like, there was twice, two times when Jameez was about to knock Gohan out. But Frieza came in and saved Gohan's ass, which is it's dumb when you think about it. But at the same time, it's like, you got to give it to the guy. He saved your ass like twice already. So Gohan. Yeah, but it's still Frieza, so you can't really you can't really like him. I mean, that's just two things he did, you know. But you know, Frieza, he was about to knock him out. Then Frieza hit the hit the key blast or hit the, you know, the 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 energy ball, and he hit it and he hit it away, or he he blasted it away, and he was like, I thought she wasn't going to fight. And then Frieza was like, Yeah, well, I changed my mind. So. He then Jameez was like, "All right, fine, I'll fight you." And then Jameez tried to do the instant trans transmission behind uh, Frieza and get him, but Frieza he he's just too smart for that. So he just he went behind him and Frieza just hit him with his tail. That's the thing. That's also a good thing about having a tail because you you can use that very easily. It's like a fifth 
um, it's like a fifth arm or whatever, you know. So he just he literally just beat the shit out of Jermiz because Jermiz can do shit because Jermiz kind of t- tried to teleport behind him and Frieza is already behind him again. Though you know it's just because they just wanted to show Frieza that Frieza was a badass and he is. So that was that, and then he knocked free not Jermiz out. Jermiz is gone. First one of the episode, you know, and uh, they also showed that uh, Goku and Rebrian are still fighting for some reason. Goku should have been knocked her out, but it was whatever. But um, so Frost comes out of nowhere, right? And this might start. This this might turn into a rant. Just to let y'all know, just might turn to a rant. So basically, what happened? Frost came in and was like, "Oh my God, Senpai!" He said Senpai too. I was like. Frost, you said senpai? Are you serious? Oh, come on. <laughs> but it, it guess it makes sense. I don't know. But Frost came down like, oh my god, you were amazing. And then he was kind of like fanboying over Frieza and all this stuff. You know, so basically, you know, Frost was like, you know, everybody was like, oh my god, is Frost going to fight Frieza? And Frost was like, no, no, I'm here for Gohan. And Frieza was like, oh, okay. So, give him, you know, he's like, he's half dead saying, right? And Freeze was like, okay, beat him up. And then Frost was like, nah, you go ahead. You go ahead. Got you. Don't worry. And Frost's dumbass. He let him fight. And then Frieza, Frieza, Frieza and Gohan actually fought. So, what I got from this fight was that Frieza and Gohan are pretty damn close in power. Like, it's, it does what, that's what, it seems like to me, that's what it seems like to me, that Frieza and Gohan are pretty damn close in power. Like, cause I mean, it's, it is a fight scene, so I'm thinking that because they were trading, they were literally trading blows, like blow for blow, just like you know they show like uh, when Goku and Frieza did that one hit clash, they were literally on par because they they showed they both hit each other and they both knocked each other out, right? Gohan and Frieza had this very similar moment to that. They both knocked each other and just at the same time. And it was kind of, I think that's kind of showed that they were pretty damn equal. They were equal in power, or at least close to equal, you know. So Gohan's pretty damn strong <laughs> in his ultimate form. So it's that, that solidifies some stuff. So <laughs> that's another, that's another video though. So basically they fought and then Frieza got the best of him with his tail and knocked him out and Gohan was down, right? And, you know, everybody was like, oh my God, Frieza betraying us. And then Frieza was like, you know, you know, Frost was like, oh my God, that is so cool. That's amazing. You know, I love it. And uh, Frost was like, uh, to- show me how you do that, you know. And Frieza was like, nah, He's like, you probably won't get golden, but I can show you full power, Frieza, full power. Is it either Frost could do that too, which was pretty badass. Frost could do full power, and I was like, "Oh my god, he can go full power!" I, which I would think he'd be able to. I mean, he is Frieza's race anyway. So that was that, and then Frieza told him, I "Always remember this." He was like, "What? Never trust anybody." And he literally eliminated Frost. I was like, "Oh my god, this is crazy!" I was like, "I thought that was it. I thought that was it." I was like, "Oh my god, he's out. He's out." I was like, "Oh, I can't. I can't believe Frieza did it." I was like, "I, I mean, you, I can because that's Frieza." But you know, I was like, "Damn, that's crazy, fam." So Frost was out. Frost got up. Fr- okay, so this is the rant part. Um, so Frost. Was out, right? Frost was out. He was eliminated. He was gone. That was it. And I was like, okay, this is crazy. I expected it, but didn't expect it. I really wanted Frost to betray Frieza, which Frost was going to, because you can tell by the key blast he was going to hit Frieza sometime, but he chose not to. I was like, you're an idiot. You should have did it. I mean, if you would knocked him out, though, you would have been still, you you would have been in the fight right now. So that he's not, he's, he's not in there. So, it's that was that wasn't that's not the problem though. The problem I have is when Frieza was talking to Gohan, Frieza was like, I'm not gonna just betray my own universe like that, which he can, he, he probably would, and he did, you know. So it's kind of, I really don't believe that, but 
I'm going to take your word for it, Frieza, you know, so, <laughs> but, excuse me, um, but Frost was like, what? Frost was so pissed. He was like, you betrayed me? What? And, oh my goodness, Frost was like, what? You betrayed me? And Frieza, I forgot what Frieza said. Frieza said something, and Frost got so pissed. He was literally about to fire a key blast. He was literally about to fire a key blast, a, a death blast, like a one of those finger blasts right at Frieza. And then Zeno was like, oh, nope. <laughs> Both the Zenos, they were like, nope. Uh uh-uh. uh. And boom, Frieza, uh, Frost is erased. Frost is erased. He's done for. He's, that's it. He's, he's gone. That's it. He, there's no more Frost. That just, that was it. That was it. No, Frost is gone. I'm like, what? What? I, I, what? This is, I, how? I don't, I, this is not, this is not what I was expecting. I thought he was just going to be eliminated and that's it, right? That's what you expect. But no, they twisted on us and made Frost get literally eliminated. He got erased. He is no more. Which, on Toei's part, that's a good and bad thing. I must, I'm going to admit it, it is a good and bad thing, but it, it, it's upset me because the only reason why I'm upset about it is because I want Frost to go more into the story. I want him to be a main part of the story. But if he's erased, he's not going to be a main part of the story. You know, he's he, he's a good villain. And now, like, this is this is crazy. It's like, man. And he's good because it's a, it's, a, it's a plot twist. But rant over. I hope you guys like this. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, you're just, you're, yeah, whatever. Thank <laughs> you guys. Bye.